So basically we turn on shell processing which allows us to create variables on the device to use. So in this case I'm going to create a variable uh, switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, switch 4 and switch 5 based off of the output of these commands. Um, so switch 1 serial, so the user is going to be asked when you provision what is switch 1 serial um, which is going to be this serial here, so, and we know this because we've already gleaned it here, this top serial number, we've gleaned it when we've deployed the device, so we type that in um, and then this script or, or this command is going to take the output of the show platform, it's going to grep for the serial number and it's going to cut the, the second and third character. There's actually a, a character here which we can't see, um, but the, it's going to take one uh, and the next character, which could be one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, uh, it could be number 10, I think. You can name them up to switch 15. Um, so we've allowed for that. Then that number is going to become that variable. So if you echo dollar sign switch one, it will echo back the number one then it's going to be pumped into this command here. So we've got mode enable because this renumbering is an enable level command. You can't use the do, you know, do show IP and brief, that doesn't work. And it's an interactive command as well. So we're wrapping this up in the velocity template language with these two different sub modes. And the interactive, to, that's running it as enable command, this is running it as interactive, which when we run this command, we're expecting a question back, a yes or no should be the expected question. And here is our response. So it, what this does is it types in switch one, because it's pulled this information from here using this variable, renumber to three. Uh, two to one, three to two, so on and so forth. Then as we go down, we need this to reload to take effect. If you simply do a reload at the end of this template, um, your provisioning will fail. It will report that it's failed. And why will it do that? Because at the end of the provisioning process, um, the device and DNAC then go through another sync process and basically they report on whether they were successful or not. Uh, that will take place <coughs> after the uh, configuration has been pushed down to the device. It's basically checking that it's been successful. So if, if you instantly reload the box, then that will fail um, and you'll end up in this loop. So you can either manually reload it or you can just uh, uh, you know, write a little event manager script, EEM script, um, that enable, saves the config, waits for 30 seconds, then does a reload. This might not be enough time, depending on your switches. You can you know, make it a minute, just, just play around and test it, uh, and, then, and then run that. So it needs this event none um, so that it can be fired. So this is quite cool, um, and then we can make this, you can go one step further and make this, <laughs> I say foolproof, you can make it easier for your operators. So what we do is this switch one serial is part of our CLI template here, so that, you know, you're know you asked um, to input the serial numbers. You know, who, who type in this user error, prone for user error there. So what we can do is we can bind this to the inventory, um, to the device, and to the serial number. So when the device is within the DNAC inventory. Uh, we know things about it, and we, we do know what the serial numbers are. And then, when you're asked to uh, select the serial number, you, you've simply presented with all five, in this case it's five switches, five serial numbers of that device, and you can just delete the ones you do not want. Unfortunately, you cannot make this a drop-down list. Um, if you try to change this to a, a single select item from the serial number, if you actually look in the DNAC inventory, this is saved as one logical entry, not multiple entries that you can choose one from. So this is the best we can do, but I would argue this is pretty good. Um, so then we take that, you know, we choose the serial numbers, um, and they are then used as the variables, in here to reorder your stacks. You know, I I I think this is pretty cool. Um, and then um, I oh, seventeen. I tested this in seventeen point three. I think I tested it in sixteen point twelve as well. Um, but I've been using these uh, the, these grepping of um, variables for a while now. Um, and, and one thing to pay close attention to these these little uh, these little. Uh, uh, back tick things. There's two types, especially on my Mac. There's the one in the lower left above the control keyword, which is the one I'm using here, and there's the one over in the right uh, near the um, near the carriage return. Don't use that one. That one. That one just gives you problems.